Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of the series about soundproofing my noisy shop vac. And in this part I'm going to share how I tested and finally found out which is the best bang for my buck material for soundproofing. I'm going to compare green glue versus mass loaded vinyl versus a cheap butyl sealant. So, alors on y va, let's kick ass und los geht's. The way I did the test was I built four equal boxes and three of these boxes had either green glue or MLV or butyl sealant in between the layers of drywall. I started with single layer boxes and made, made sure that uh, they have similar sound reduction properties in order to make the end result more comparable. If you're wondering why I'm outside testing the boxes, this is um, in order to simulate an uh, anechoic chamber. <laughs> Install first layer of drywall, have you shown? Okay, already done. And this pans on panel in a uniform and random pattern. Done. Let's go. I think now it's gonna be more easy. Such an, I'm such an idiot. Alright. Yes. Okay. I think I'll let that cure for a couple of days and then I'm gonna seal the corners and I think we should be good to go then. <laughs> okay guys, let's have a look at the results. This is the Charlie Guide. By the way, in order to synchronize the video footage and the screen recording, this is synchronized. Okay. Um, yeah, 
Um, for everyone look, watching this video, this is probably not rocket science. What do we, how can we read this? The horizontal axis shows frequencies. The vertical axis shows sound pressure levels in dBA. The red lines are the two JB, uh, is the GBL speaker um, alone without any enclosure. Um, please don't ask me what this this dip, this dent in at 400 hertz is. I didn't intentionally reduce the volume at that frequency. There's no um, equalizer for the end user of the JBL Partybox 100, not even with an app. Um, perhaps there's some hardwired equalizer going on in this speaker because 400 hertz is notorious for being a muddy frequency. Uh, frequency. I don't know, perhaps I made a mistake, I don't know. Yeah, and then uh, from the first glance, um, it's pretty clear hard, uh, low frequencies are hard to reduce or difficult to reduce, low, um, high frequencies are easy to reduce. Furthermore, um, the, the, the design with two layers of drywall does a pretty good job because um, reducing the sound from 80 something dBA to let's say um, yeah around 50 dBA that's huge that's that's big that's really effective yeah and if we take a closer look on the different materials used the white line is um, uh, drywall drywall yellow line is drywall butyl drywall green line is green glue in the middle and blue is mass loaded vinyl in the middle um, it's pretty obvious, I think, that just drywall drywall performs well, but it's it's on fourth place. It's the highest means it's the highest level of sound pressure, and um, it's followed by the crate with butyl in the middle. But butyl improves the sound reduction. You can clearly see it at around. 700 hertz, 800 hertz, 1000 hertz, and then again and significantly at starting at 2500 hertz. Um, the sound reduction is further improved by using green glue. It's um, especially at uh, here 500 hertz, 600, 700, green glue performs significantly better. For some reason, it's a, uh, at some frequency, it um, improves less if less good. Um, and I think, um, considering that the boxes have a very small volume compared to the uh, wavelength of the sound in it, uh, there might be some resonance going on inside the boxes, especially if you have a look at the frequency around 250 hertz. This spike here seems to be some kind of mode, some kind of resonance inside the box. I don't know, I'm not a physicist. <laughs> what a word, physicist. Um, however, um, green glue performs good, uh, that's for sure. Um, it's not as good as butyl uh, starting at 2500, but I would say it's better than butyl overall. But then, and that's the big takeaway, um, look at look at mass loaded vinyl. By the way, that's the heavy stuff, that's 10 kilograms per square meter. And look at that. I mean, it's it's almost everywhere 10 dB or more better. 10 dB more means, again, to the human eye, half the volume, half the volume you, you hear. And <laughs> at 1600 hertz, mass loaded vinyl blows everything out of the water. Frankly, um, that's that's a huge difference here. I have the same values just displayed in percentage, percentage of transmission loss. Uh, the red line is obviously a zero percentage transmission loss because it's a speaker on its own. Uh, and here, the, the higher the better. And it's, of course, it's the same data, so it's the same curve. Bl um, mass loaded vinyl. Uh, outperforms everything else by a lot. Now let's have a look at the costs. Um, let's take the costs into account. Mass loaned vinyl in September of 2023, a single unit or so a small amount without shipping uh, in Europe. A mass loaned vinyl 
was about 23 euros, green glue was about 27 euros, one tube, and butyl is uh, not worth mentioning, a couple of euros. It's a, a cord of, um, f with a d thickness of four millimeters and it was about six meters, I think. And uh, what, is, what is pretty obvious, um, butyl is uh, the way to go if you want to save money. And if you need really, if you need, if it's a crucial part, you need lots of sound reduction, go for mass loaded vinyl, honestly. And I think that's my takeaway from this uh, test, from this measurement. I will definitely use butyl um, on the wall design in between the sheets of plasterboard. And when it comes to the crucial parts like the lids, where I need to have as much horsepower, uh, sound reducing horsepower as possible per volume, per um, space, um, I will go with mass loaded vinyl. No question about that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the last part of the series. Have a nice day.